If you have a moment, please go subscribe to my second channel. Link to that channel will be in the description down below. I'll be posting all of my jump shot, dribble tutorial, build videos, and all that on that second channel. Please check it out if you have a moment. Much love. In this video, I'm about to show y'all boys one of the best working NBA 2K22 VC glitches that you need to take advantage of ASAP. Make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, man. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so look, man, to start this glitch off, make sure you guys watch the video and follow these steps very carefully to ensure that you get the most VC as fast as possible. Step number one is you guys wanna go ahead and make a brand new player. The position does not matter. I would go with point guard, the hand, and jersey matter does not matter either. The pie chart does not matter, but you basically wanna make the worst player possible. So since we went with the slashing pie chart, we're gonna upgrade everything but finishing. All right, so next, the body shape does not matter, but the height is very important. You want to put the height all the way down at 5'7", you want to put the weight all the way down, and then you want to put the wingspan all the way down as well. Like I said, you basically just want to make the worst player possible. The takeover does not matter, and then next, you want to make sure that you hit start my career. You guys see we have built a pure trash can, which is perfect. This is what we need to be able to do this VC glitch. So you want to go ahead and hit start my career. And then if you have rebirth, just hit no. Like I said, we're not going to upgrade this player or anything like that. We're just using this player to get BC. And yeah, man, you want to make sure that you go directly into the NBA. And then when it asks you which team you'd like to go to, make sure you pick the best team possible. So yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and go to the Milwaukee Bucks. Now once you get here, go over to your options and then uh, you can go to your settings and just make sure the game difficulty is on five minutes. It doesn't really matter. And then after that, what the, the important thing that you guys wanna keep an eye on is your minutes. So you wanna go down to your mom minutes and then you guys will see that we're currently at 14 minutes. But with this glitch, we're going to be able to get that down if you follow these steps and it's going to allow us to get the most VC possible. These first three games, we're not going to get VC, but we're doing this just so it reduces our minutes, if that makes sense. So you want to go ahead and load up your first game. Now listen man, in this game, you wanna foul out as fast as possible. You wanna get six fouls and foul out. You also wanna get at least a D teammate grade. I found that you have to do this two or three times before you can actually do the glitch. So yeah man, you guys wanna foul out as fast as possible and get a D minus teammate grade. All right, so look, man. After you guys get, after you guys foul out, make sure you have a D minus teammate grade, and then you want to go ahead and sim to the end of this game. All right, so look, man. Skip any cutscenes that you might get. Go back over to play next game. Check your mom minutes, and then you guys will see that we're still at 14. But like I said, it takes a couple of games of fouling out before our minutes will go down. So you wanna go ahead and play the, this next game. All right, so once again, in this game, foul out as fast as possible and make sure that you get at least a D teammate grade. Also, if you get the ball on offense, you can either throw the ball out of bounds or just walk out of bounds as well. So yeah, man, you guys just wanna foul out and get a D teammate grade as fast as possible. All 
nice little man. After that game is over with, once again, go down to your mob minutes, throw all the way down, and like I said, we wanna get this under 14. You want it to say five. This usually takes three games. So we need to go ahead, play our next game, and foul out one more time, and that should allow us to proceed with this glitch. All right, so what, man? After you guys have fouled out of three games in a row on your new player, you should notice when you go to your mom and his tab that you'll have a code symbol beside your name, and you guys can see that we're knocked all the way down to five minutes. This is where we're able to actually start this VC glitch. So yeah, man, once you're under, once you're at five minutes or under, you wanna go back over to your options, go down to your settings, and just put the, the game difficulty on Hall of Fame just so you get more VC. So yeah, man, after that, we can now go ahead and start the actual VC glitch and start earning VC. So on this player, you wanna go ahead and play your next game. All right, so listen, bro. Once you get subbed in, do not foul out. What you wanna do is get five fouls as fast as possible. Do not foul out, get five fouls as fast as possible, and then you wanna go ahead and let the game run out. But you guys will see that once you get under that five minutes per game played, that you'll hardly play these games, allowing you to get VC extremely fast. So you wanna go ahead and get your five fouls allowing you to get subbed out even more. So as you guys can see, once you get your five fouls, we're already in the third quarter and uh, ba we barely played. So now all you wanna do is go ahead and let this game run out. These games will fly by, especially if you get your five fouls whenever you have under five minutes of playing time. So once you get under five minutes played and you get your five fouls and let the game run out, these games will fly by. You guys can see that we got the Hall of Fame multiplier and we got 500 BC for doing absolutely nothing and these games go by extremely fast and you can spam this as many times as you would like. But look man. Once the game is over with, make sure that you still have a code symbol beside your name under the mom minutes tab. Make sure you're still at five minutes and you wanna repeat this as many times as you as you like. The first three games, you wanna foul completely out and get a D minus grade. And then you wanna get five fouls and the game run out. These games go by extremely fast. You can rack up a lot of VC by doing this glitch. Drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, man. We out, peace.